Today we're gonna check out how to make these gummy letters here in After Effects with chromatic aberration. This one was inspired from Synthi Mental. He got some really good experimental tutorials uploaded on YouTube and I highly recommend you to check them out. All right, so let's make a new composition. Click on new composition, reading with this text. And I'm gonna go with this width and height, eight seconds, black background, click okay. Let's select the type tool and I get a type in Penter. Press the letter S, scale it up. Let's align it to the center, vertical and horizontal. By the way, I went with the Pillow Lava font. I gotta leave a link in the description with it where you can download it. Now let's go to the project, right click, new composition. You can rename it as Chromatic Aberration. Click OK. Let's drag and drop the text comp into the Chromatic Aberration composition. And we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in Shift Channels. Drag and drop the shift channels on the text layer. Press Ctrl D two times on the layer to duplicate. So we got three duplicates. I'm gonna select the first layer and I'm gonna turn off the red and the green like this. Let's go and select the second layer. Let's go and turn off the red and the blue. And I'll at least select the last layer. And we're gonna turn off the green and the blue. Let's select all three layers go to the mode and change it to add. Now, if you don't have the mode options here, you can go and click on the toggle switch and it's going to make it disappear or appear. And here I'm gonna select the first layer with the text. I'm gonna press and hold shift, press the left arrow, press the up arrow. I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna go and select the second layer. And again, I'm gonna press and hold shift, press the left arrow until you're gonna get a really nice chromatic aberration. Or you can go with the mouse and move them around just like this. Now let's go back to the project, right click here, new composition, this is gonna be the final comp. Let's click OK. And let's go and drag and drop the composition with the chromatic aberration into the final comp. We're gonna to go to the effects and presets and type in CC Glass. Drag and drop the CC glass on the chromatic aberration comp. And we're gonna go and open up the surface. Now let's go and increase the softness. And let's adjust the height. So if you decrease it all the way to minus 100, it is going to start making this effect. I'm gonna increase the softness a little bit more. And let's go to the displacement, increase it all the way until you're gonna create this juicy gummy effect on the letters. Let's go and increase the softness more. I'm gonna go with 60. Now let's go and animate the letters. I'm gonna go to the text composition. Let's select the text. I'm gonna close and open it up. And I'm gonna go to animate. Let's select the position. Let's go to add. Go to property and I also gonna select rotation and I'm gonna go and select also the selector wiggly. So now we got all the option position, rotation and wiggly. So first we're gonna go to the position and manipulate it and customize it however you like. Probably I'm gonna go with these values and we're gonna go to the rotate and try to rotate it a little bit better. You also can go and increase or decrease the distance in between the letters, or you also can go and increase or decrease the height, something like this. So if you hit play, it is going to wiggle like this, but we're gonna need to customize it a little bit better. So now I gotta go to the wiggle selection one, open it up. And here we got the wiggle second two. So if you increase, it is going to wiggle really fast, but I gotta go down to one to make it slow. Here we got the correlation. If you increase it to 100, every each letter is going to wiggle in the same direction, but I'm gonna decrease it somewhere around 70%. So it's gonna wiggle like this. Now let's go to more options. And here we got the group alignment. And if you increase it, check this out, we got these little red dots. So these little red dots gonna need to go all the way in the center part of the letters, something like this. So basically it should wiggle something like that. Let's go back to final comp and the final result looks something like this. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.